Hey, it's Apple Buff and welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to take a look at the new features and changes that were added with the iOS 16 developer beta 1. So without a further ado, let's roll the video. But before we get straight into seeing what's new, let's first talk about the update. This one was about 4.97 GB to be exact on my iPhone tenor. And yes, I did install the update on my secondary device because I feel it's too early to load it on my primary one. One of the biggest changes that Apple brought with iOS 16 is the newly designed lock screen. The new lock screen comes loaded with new layout, color schemes and even the quick glance feature that reminds of the one on Apple Watch. With this update, the focus has been on customization of lock screen, which means you can not only adjust the layout of it with different font style, color options that are available for both time and date. But also you can swipe to add effects which are auto-generated depending upon your current wallpaper on your iPhone. One of the interesting additions to the lock screen customization is being able to add widgets like the ones for weather, activity and even the upcoming calendar events for a quick glance at the info. Along with redesigning the lock screen, Apple has added many new wallpapers that are interactive and fluid. The new wallpapers can be explored by long pressing the screen, swiping to the right and clicking on the plus sign, just like we do on Apple Watch. Doing that will open up the categories of wallpapers that Apple is offering with iOS 16. Unlike the last year's iOS 15, with iOS 16, now the notification system has moved to the bottom of the lock screen menu, which will give a less cluttered experience and even maintain the beauty of the lock screen wallpaper. So finally, after a long wait, Apple has bought the ability to edit and even unsend messages after they have been sent on iMessage. This feature is like the most requested one. And yes, they added this even before Twitter lets you edit your own tweets. Lastly, with this update, we even got new actions for Memoji stickers. So that's pretty much it with some of the newly added features in the first developer beta of iOS 16. I shall keep exploring and keep you all posted with the further updates. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with the update. So with that being said, here's Apple Buff signing off. Catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.